Hi, in this video, I'm looking at evaluating fractions of factorials. And what I mean by that is if, say, I have 8 factorial divided by 5 factorial, what would be the solution to this? Now, this skill that I'm going to teach you is going to be very handy because a lot of calculators can't handle big factorials. Like, what if I wanted to do 100 factorial divided by 7 factorial? A lot of calculators can't manage 100 factorial because it just blows out their memory. So what I'm going to teach you is a trick that you can do to simplify your calculation that your calculator might be able to do, but also some calculators do use it so that they can actually work out these. So the trick comes from the definition of a factorial. We know that 8 factorial means 8 times 7 times 6 times by 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we know that 5 factorial is basically the same 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now, if you look at what we've just written out, I've got 8 times 7 times 6 times our denominator on the top. Oh, the rest of it goes 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 1 divided by 1 cancels down to 1, 2 divided by 2 cancels down to 1, 3 divided by 3 cancels down to 1, 4 divided by 4 cancels down to 1, and 5 divided by 5 cancels down to 1. So everything more or less cancels out, and we're left with 8 times 7 times 6. And so we can now work out the answer to this, and we get 336. So that wasn't too difficult to work out. So if we've got two factorials dividing, the smaller one will cancel out a lot of the remaining one. So if we have a look at another question, such as 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial. Well, 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 meaning that we're just left with 6 times 5 times 4, which we can work out to be 120. It even works if we flip the fraction. For example, what if I do 2 factorial divided by 4 factorial? Well, 2 factorial is simply 2 times 1, and 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So the 2 is going to cancel with the 2, the 1 is going to cancel with the 1. So we're going to be left with a 1 on top, because 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 divided by 1 is 1, and 1 times 1 is 1. And on the bottom, we've got 4 times 3, which is 12. So our answer is 1 12. So we can use our factorial notation to cancel out smaller factorials from bigger factorials if they're divided, and gives us something easier to calculate and something our calculator can actually achieve too.